Always read the question before you read the passage. Just make sure you know what they want from you. Which response from a survey given to shoppers who made a purchase at a retail store best supports the researcher's explanation? So it's kind of confusing without the passage, right? Because you're like, what are we even talking about? But supports the explanation, right? That, that's the key piece. So whatever they say in that passage, we want to support it. So let's just see if they can give us some sort of explanation, maybe a claim, maybe a hypothesis, something like that. We want to support that. So let's see what they say. External shopping cues are a type of marketing that uses obvious messaging, a display featuring a new product, for example, or a buy one, get one free offer to entice consumers to make spontaneous purchases. Okay, so no explanation yet. In a study, data scientist Sam K. Hui and colleagues found that this effect can also be achieved with a less obvious cue, rearranging a store's layout. Again, that's a hypothesis, it's not an explanation. The researchers explain, hmm, that trying to find items in new locations causes shoppers to move through more of the store, exposing them to more products and increasing the likelihood that they'll buy an item that they hadn't planned on purchasing. So that whole, the whole thing there, basically is what I'm focused on. But if I had to start picking it apart and finding little pieces of it, um, finding items in new location, uh, they move through more of the store, move through more, um, exposing them to more products and increasing the, the likelihood to buy an item they hadn't planned on purchasing. So they'll buy something they hadn't planned on. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the choices, right? We want to, uh, a response from a survey given to shoppers who made a purchase at a retail store. So these are people who are not mentioned explicitly in the passage, but we want to support their explanation. So hopefully it's about finding a new item, going throughout the store, buying something they hadn't planned on. Let's see. A, I needed to buy some cleaning supplies, but they weren't in their regular place. So that's a new location. While I was looking for them, I saw this interesting notebook and decided to buy it too. So bought something that they hadn't thought they needed and moved around the store. That seems good. I, I don't know enough here. I would, I would kind of click it, but I got to read everything else because you never know. Maybe there's something that's better. Uh, I didn't buy everything on my shopping list today. I couldn't find a couple of the items in the store, even though I looked all over for them. Well, the, the whole point of the explanation is that they're going to buy something. So this person is saying, I didn't buy anything. So right away, seems bad. C. The store sent me a coupon for a brand, a new brand of soup, so I came here to find out what kinds of soup that brand offers. I decided to buy a few cans because I had the coupon. Well, okay, they're buying something, but they're not moving throughout the store, but also they're not buying something they hadn't planned on purchasing, right? They're, they're buying what they came for, the soup, so it doesn't match with that idea. D. This store is larger than one that's closer to where I live, and it carries more products. I came here to buy some things that the other store doesn't always have. Well, it doesn't even say they bought anything. It just it has nothing to do with anything. So it's definitely A. It hit a lot of those check marks. And that's kind of the way I think of a lot of reading questions and passages is sometimes there's a lot going on. And so we can maybe break it into smaller pieces, and then we just want to check off each of those pieces. Now, Sometimes we don't get to check off everything, or maybe we kind of see a couple things very easily and some things need a little bit more work. But in this case, right, none of the other choices checked off anything. So I wouldn't go back and make sure that I have the right answer here. I, I know A is right. I checked off, I think, like two things pretty easily. There might be a third in there that I'd love to check off too, but I, I, I don't want to waste my time. Let's just move on. And so that's another thing too, is like, you, you should know when you've proven an answer, even if you haven't proven every aspect of the answer based on the passage. This is why we don't want to get bogged down in the details. Enough's enough. Once you get it, just move on.